Hey everybody, this is Bigwigs and welcome to Bloodborne! New game by From Software, my new little miniature addiction as well. Oh, yeah. Also, we have to skip that bit. Let's get started. We're gonna enter our name. Uh we've had big wigs, we've had tiny wigs. I think now we want We want swag wags. Why? Because we're gonna be swagger. Da, 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 da. No. We'll keep male. We are we've always been male. We'll be old man though. That's how you know we're really just strutting it out. And um I'm actually torn. I've not yet beaten the game. I have gotten past the second boss. I've gotten past Father Garsol. So that's where I am right now in the game, and I've not yet found an incredible, amazing weapon. But um I did do that with Wasted Skin. Don't do Wasted Skin. Everyone else is level 10 except Wasted Skin. And so in my mind's like, hey, Wasted Skin's probably... You can make whatever character you want with Wasted Skin. No, don't do that to yourselves. Um, we might go with a just a standard build. I guess that'd be this guy, wouldn't it? You know what? We're milk toast. We're boring. And I'm, I'm without a doubt confident everyone is changing just about every goddamn thing in the world about their characters to make some of those horrible abominations... Possibly imaginable. So, um... I don't know. Should we have blue hair? Aren't I clever? We can do it with R1 to make it, like, v viciously bright. Oh, man. Whoops, I undid it. So, probably the best thing about Bloodborne is that because of my audio setup... I don't know why I'm wearing... I'm not sure why I'm wearing headphones. Because I don't need headphones. One moment, I have to close the door so I don't shout outside. Professionalism. Yes, now I'm just shouting into a microphone. That's what I usually do, though, so it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about me. Oh, man, we can just blind people with our beauty. <laughs> God damn it. Can we make our brow color, like, incredibly just... Oh, that's beautiful. Beard. Oh, I'm loving it. I never... Uh, should you make the beard color stupid as well? Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. You know what? We'll keep it like that. It's, it's very possible to make your entire character just... Horrible. But, um... We're good. We'll finish. Do blood mourn. I'm using a new capture software, so if the audio balance is weird, it's because XSplit is shitting all over itself, so I have to use the regular Elgato. Um, if you're there for the live stream today, I'm sorry. It was awful, horrible. It was, it was not great. I didn't know it was not great until the very end of the live stream. So I'm sorry to get all your hopes up. But this will be fun. Yeah. This will hopefully be the last time you see a Bloodborne loading screen. I will get rid of them for you. They will be cast aside from the channel. At least until, you know, as long as I have nothing to say over them. If this is a cutscene, we'll be skipping it. Yay, we skipped it. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Take off that hood. Let's see your beauty. Oh, man. This game just got a lot less scary. Yeah, I'm hearing some lovely birds outside of my window. Which really sort of destroys the uh, the vibe this gets. But then again, my very annoying voice will do that as well. By the way, totally forgot. Toads forgot. We have to get our amazing, um, our goal of this whole game. Here, what will I be fighting through life and death for? Headrun scroll, seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. Yep, that's it. We're looking for pale blood now. That's all we need. Pale blood. Pale blood's the answer. That probably wasn't like a misspelling of something weird like um like uh sale scrubs. There's a sale on scrubs. We don't need to fight this man. He is not necessary. The reason we're not gonna fight him is because dying to him. Oh no! Mistakes! Run! Pick this up first. Keep running, though. Never stop running. He's gonna be on our asses for a while, though. 
Um, we're not gonna find him because if we die, we have to go through an extra two loading screens. So there's that. Also, this man will be here. They should fight each other. They hate each other. PS4 is... Oh, are they gonna fight each other? Ooh. Well, we, we punched him a bit. Mistakes were had. We made it, though. Very fun times here. By the way, if you can hear the whirring fan, you know what? It wasn't a PS3 exclusive. PS4 has got the whirring fan as well. There we go. First checkpoint. I have no idea how long I've been recording. Actually, the Elgato game capture, which I'm using, buy it now for only $150. Oh, shit. He came here. Too bad, buddy. It uh, says I'm at five minutes. I'm not sure if that's true. I'm not sure if I've been recording for five minutes. I don't think I have been, but I just need like a ballpark area. That way I can say, this is the end of the episode. This is the start of the next episode. Because I do that a lot. This is just him waking up to the creepy house. Don't worry, I'm extra creepy as well. Hey, have you seen my beard? And we get to choose our weapon. A lot of people are going to choose Saw Cleaver because Saw Cleaver is bad as a cell. My original character started with a threaded cane because then I was swagger as hell. We're going to choose Saw Cleaver this time though. Because I haven't used it ever, and I'm interested in using it. And we're going to use the Hunter Pistol. Well, I, ha I have used the Blunderbuss. If you do that, you'll see like the Blunderbuss is pretty good. Does a lot of damage. But I, I mainly use guns for staggering, for uh, stunning people. And because of that, we are going to use the pistol because it's faster. Also, just do a little dance. Touch my butt. The cold dead stare while I do that is a bit awkward. We'll throw on the saw cleaver. We'll throw on the hunter's pistol. And we won't throw on a hat, though. That would defeat the purpose. See, now instead of touching our butts, we pull out weapons from nowhere. Hey, friend. I don't know what happens if we kill you, but I assume many good things? I've not killed all the NPCs yet. I do intend to at some point, but I'm sure someone else will do that for me. I don't think we need to talk to this asshole. Also, I lost all my blood vials. Hmm. So we'll get him back. We'll get him back. I, I haven't lost them. I haven't obtained any. So what we're going to do is we're going to the first floor sick room, and we'll get three free ones. By three, I mean we kill somebody for them. Yes, there, there we go. I wonder if I'll leave that in. So, weapons are pretty cool. There we go. He's dead. You can view the specter. That's how somebody died. We'll take the bloodstone shard, though. And actually, he didn't give us the thing that I wanted. Do you have the things that I want? Blood vials. Yes. Blood vials are your Estus flasks. They're also... Well, they're closer to herbs and demon souls. But people haven't played demon souls because that's console exclusive. Oh my god, this is console exclusive. People now might play this. Um, basically, your heal is now dedicated entirely to your triangle button. I was almost saying Y button because I thought I was using a 360 controller. And then I remembered, no one's playing this with a 360 controller. <laughs> Seriously, though, I spent so much money for this game. There we go. So, Y is a really quick kill. We'll waste one real quick. Like that. Almost looks like you're just sort of... You might actually just be stabbing yourself in the leg with it. Okay, so I've... I've extended my weapon on accident. You press L1 to uh, change your weapon. You can do that mid swing too. Bow. And then it changes the entire like the entire like swing and arc of it. It's really good. I've never used the saw cleaver though. Oh, calm down, PS4. It's not that bad. I should just move you farther away from the setup, but then you kind of like need it to be here. Oh, well. Or we'll find many shortcuts today. Many, many shortcuts. We're going to talk to a few NPCs. NPCs are a bit weird this time around, is that you don't actually... The first few you see in Yarnum, you don't actually see. Must be a hunter, not from around here either. I'm Gilbert. Fellow outsider has a special way of treating guests. So, blah, 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 blah. Basically... This guy, Gilbert, I think what is that his name was, is also an outsider. He lives here stuck inside of his rooms. Oh, game for this place will do more harm than good. Um, the hunt is going on currently, and I believe the hunt is just the people of Yarnum trying to hunt down beasts. Or it could be the beasts just roaming around and killing people. Notice, I think that's the sun, and there's going to be like a full moon, which I guess is why the hunt's going on. Um, 
the Arnhemites stay inside their doors when the hunt's going on, because obviously it's dangerous as fuck. Pale blood, never heard of it. You should go to the healing church. The healing church gives away lots of blood. Blood in this game acts as a sort of steroids. Um, it, it makes people stronger. I believe the, the little quote was, makes us human, makes us more than human, makes us human no more. That's usually how it seems to go. I think Gilbert himself has like an incurable disease, which is why he came to Yarnum. And uh, because of that, the blood can heal him. Oh man, this area is like a thousand times easier than... God, this all cleaver is so much better. Also, like I mentioned, I chose Waste of Skin as my first play for which was a dumb decision. Shit. I'm not too worried about health. Ooh, I probably should be though. We'll pop one. So I'm also unconsciously showing off the regain system. Which is if you get hit. Well, you have a bit of that yellow. Oh, God! And you don't die like a stupid scrub. God, I'm so bad at this game. And then you get a little bit of health back every time you're hit. Well, there's a... There's like a little yellow marker that if you can punch things fast enough, then you'll get health back. Closed by a device. The device is right here. We have that guy. I might show off pairing. If I can do it properly. It's weird playing a game with no sound. I mentioned... I did this entirely for, like, Demon Souls. Which was not ideal, but whatever. Let's see if we can show off pairing. Pairing is just um, you still use your your offhand weapon, but now instead of a shield, we have a gun. And instead of like timing it properly, you just before you're hit, um, get hit in the face, and then you'll show them all what you're really made of. Get back in there, sir. So I got hit, which happens a lot while I was pairing, but um. Yeah, you can do it from a bit of a range, and it gives you a lot of time to come up here and do this uh, visceral attack, I believe it's called. Does lots of damage. You got pungent cocktails, which is fine, I guess. The best thing he can give you though is um, like a like a ring for your weapons. It's weird. Rather than having like proper accessories on your characters, you put them on your weapons, and that gives you certain added effects on your weapons. Yada 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 yada. Have I been skipping a few people? A bit. No, not really. There's a bunch in a row here. We're going to talk to some Yarnamites. Uh, this lamp here? I learned this from Epic Name Bro, by the way. <laughs> There's incense oil in that, and that keeps beasts away. So you look for these lamps, and that's where NPCs are, usually. That was the outcomer. Go away. God, I can't believe you're so rude to me. Oh, man. Do I have... Man. Oh, look. Wait. Hardcore as fuck with the fucking Bluebeard. They call me Bluebeard. Um, so... Oh, God. He heard me. Cool that. This guy heard me as well. He still do jumping attacks. Who else heard me? That guy probably heard me. So, if we come around here and poke our heads out, this guy will see me on attack, but you'll see a shitload of people. I have attacked them before. Um, what you're supposed to do... I also learned from name, bro, by the way. <laughs> um, this guy's a sniper. He has a gun. If you kill him, he usually drops bullets. There we go. Bullets. And then you're supposed to sort of sneak around here and do some shenanigans and pick this up and probably get attacked by a guy over here. Yep, yeah, there we go. Pop our weapon out because it's dope as hell. Get some more blood vials. Blood vials drop quite frequently. That's a good thing. We're going to need them. We're going to need them a lot. So we could fight the entirety of the hunt here. That's a bad idea, though. That's like a really bad idea. You don't want to do that. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to do the cheese way. This is the way I mostly get around them. Hello, gun man. I can't hear when you're, like, loading and firing. I'm just going to zigzag. You know what? The zigzag worked. Oh, they come over, meow. They go, meow. No more blood vials, meow. Now, there are many shortcuts. There are many secrets as well. Mm, yes. Reckon from right here, it's just more people saying, you suck, go away. If you come over here, there is a shortcut down here, which means you don't have to go past the hunt anymore, but it's, you know, it's a pretty good shortcut. We'll use it, I suppose. I mean, then we don't have to fight the wolves. Yeah, yeah we'll use it. 
go. You're dead. There's some dogs around here, though. Dogs suck. I can't hear them either, so if they, like... I wanted to drop down on this dumb, stupid dog ass. There we go. Free blood echoes. Very nice. Very nice. No, I did not learn this one from Epic Main Bro, by the way. I've watched, uh... I have gone through all this blind myself. I have discovered all these myself. But it's just like the... The run to it. Is what he taught me. Oh, this person's important. I mean, not important. Important's a strong word. She... Do you know of any safe places? I've heard shutting in doors isn't always enough. If you want to drown your arse, you wouldn't be blah, blah, blah. Do I know of any safe places? I don't know of any safe places. And so she gets all pissy with me and her. Give you a safe place. Ooh, I have an idea of what we can do. We can come down here and get some more secrets. It's not super important. In fact, doing this will actually mean I have to fight through a whole bunch of enemies. We won't do that yet. We're gonna try. Getting to Cleric Beast would be very, very foolish. But I know that's what, that's what everyone wants to see, though. Everyone wants to see me fight Cleric Beast and win. Ha! <laughs> Did I say win? I meant to say die. Holy shit, Cleric Beast is tough. But we'll, we'll get some shortcuts. This is the dark room. Hey, it seems really light. Oh yeah, my, my brightness on my computer is really high. Whoops! Yeah, it's totally bright, yo. I don't, I don't know why people call this a dark room. It's like super okay. Uh, my monitor. It's too good. Whatever. Away, away. I'm gonna be on this guy a thousand times in a row, by the way. But before that, we'll open up this shortcut. And using that, we can skip pretty much a lot of shit. There's still things that I need, but there's also things that I don't want. So we won't worry about it. We won't swagger about it. That's not a real word. Don't use it that way. Um, this guy over here. The guy just killed the man in the wheelchair. Very important. He drops uh, bullets. Now you might be saying, I've not seen you use bullets very much. There is a boss where you need to use bullets. Oh, you don't need a strong word. There's a boss you want to shoot. Bah, 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 bah. Oh, ouch, ouch. That was a mistake. I love popping the thing out. Cold Blood Dew. Cold Blood Dew is basically your uh, soul of a name of soldiers of this game. Blood Vile. Sorry, I was saying. Hey, Big Wigs. You got know, souls there. I'm not going to use those. Nah, bro. Not yet. I'm running away from these because we have two of those guys over there. You might have remembered from early on this episode, you killed those guys pretty easily, didn't you? I did. I killed them very easily. I killed that one guy very easily. These guys are at full health, and they do, they're basically just badass as hell. Which reminds me, speaking of badass as hell, Molotov Cocktail. You can throw Molotov Cocktails at people and they do shitloads of damage. Which is actually, I don't want to do that for this. A little bit. And then we can just do some R2 attacks, which hits the crow slug things. Some blood, two blood vials. These big guys, they drop pretty much always two blood vials. Which is nice. Now we're going to hear some incredible sound design. They actually scaled this back in the um, original, like, opening. Opening? Quote, unquote, like, trailer when they showed off Cleric Beast. They, um... They had really powerful sound balance. But they, they lowered the, the screaming noise. Thankfully. I'm going to die here, by the way. Um, see, as soon as I show, Claire B shows up, that little marker underneath my experience has turned to one, like the eyeballs. That's called insight. You can't level up until you have at least one insight. Ouch. So, um, I know some of Claire Beast's moveset, but not all of it. Go away! Let's see if I can... Oh, he dodged it, son of a 
bitch. I have no idea how aggressive Cleric Beast. There we go. I love the moveset. The trick weapons. And a little bit of swipe. The Cleric Beast definitely has a transformation after this where it gets way more aggressive. And that's what I, that's what my head's stuck in. Because that's where I before when I fought Cleric Beast, I essentially cheated and Using the um uh, Using the Molotov cocktails I got down to halfway. Oop uh, damn it. Poor timing on my part. We'll have to learn this boss fight anyways. Fun fact, it's actually really easy missing the Molotov cocktails on uh Cleric Beast. There we go. Big ol' bit of damage right here. If you hit face and get to stagger like that, it goes it goes down hard. Make it all bloody. Nasty looking. And you can actually focus on both its head and its face. Which is or its body, I should say. Ouch. I don't have nearly enough blood valves for this fight. But oh, we're doing okay. Ouch. 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 We can heal fast, but we're almost out of stuff. Hit once in the face. Oh, the, the back away. Ouch. Could probably use the regain system. He's actually gonna pull his hand back up. Oh god, Gad's face! Yeah! Oh, he's so mad. Ouch. I'm basically good enough because I don't have enough blood vials to kill it. Oh, he's gonna do the grab attack. We're doing pretty swagger. Try to do the grab attack again. Ouch. You know what? That was a good run of Cleric Beast. That was a good run of Cleric Beast. I've lost all my souls. Blood echoes, I mean. But it was still pretty good. Hey, wasn't that person not here before? You are correct. So, that insight, we've lost all our blood echoes, by the way. Similar souls affair. But just under that is a little eyeball I mentioned. We get one insight just for seeing the Cleric Beast. Just for seeing the Cleric Beast, we get one insight. With one insight, we unlock this game's Made in Black or Emerald Herald. Please pursue the soul of blood and she'll give us shiz for it. There we go. I can level up Arcane, Blood Tinge, Skill, Strength, Endurance, and Vitality. They got rid of... um. What's the word? Magic and faith, and it's now just arcane. Blood tinge is your shooting gun. Your gun. Sometimes I call it the shooting shooting button, but it's your gun. Skill is uh, obviously dexterity, strength is strength, and endurance vitality. It's all very good. Leveling up once gives you more defense, like always, and whatever other stat you asked for. We can also use this, except gift from these guys. Now we can do co op. I'm not going to do co op. But it's nice to know. We also got 
What else did we get? We got some of these. Cold Blood Dew. Why am I using this? Well, for one, I can level up. But mostly, I can fortify my weapon using Bloodstones. And I actually have enough to do that. So we're going to use that. And we're going to level up once. Because just to show it off. You guys want to see what leveling up looks like, right? So Rome is a little bit stronger. We can now level up our character stats. Now, no matter what we put in the strength or skill, we get a little bit stronger in the weapon department. Our physical defense always goes up. We'll probably do a standard, just quality build of strength and skill. Makes sense to you. Makes sense to me. And there we go. Very well, good hunter. Very well, good hunter. So, that's how you get to level up. All in a very kind of longish episode. We'll end it here, though, and thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day, and goodbye.